And this is how I got elected, by being off script. And if we don't go off script, our country's in big trouble, folks, because we have to get it back. And when I look at what's happening on the other side, I encourage it. I say, no, no, I, I think the new Green Deal, or whatever the hell they call it, The Green New Deal, right? Green New Deal. I encourage it. I think, to, I think it's really something that they should promote. They should work hard on. It's something our country needs. Desperately, they have to go out and get it. But I'll take the other side of that argument only because I'm mandated to. I'm mandated. But they should stay with that argument. Never change. Never change. No planes. No energy. When the wind stops blowing, that's the end of your electric. Let's hurry up. <laughs> darling, darling, is the wind blowing today? I'd like to watch television, darling. <laughs> and all of a sudden, they're trying to take you out with okay? Now, Robert Mueller never received a vote, and neither did the person that appointed him. And as you know, the Attorney General says, I'm going to recuse myself. <laughs> and I said, why the hell didn't he tell me that before I put him in? How do you recuse yourself? But the person that appointed Robert Mueller never received a vote. Robert Mueller put 13 of the angriest Democrats in the history of our country on the commission. What we've done together has never been done in the history, maybe of beyond our country, maybe in the history of the world. They came from the mountains and the valleys and the cities. They came from all over. And what we did in 2016 the election, we call it, with a capital E. It's never been done before, and we're going to do it, I think, again in 2020, and the numbers are going to be even bigger. Joining me now with reaction to the president's speech and so much more, a man who actually wrapped up a very busy week himself, CPAC chairman Matt Schlapp. Good evening, Matt. Wow. <laughs> wow. I think that's the word humdinger, maybe. That well, I got to tell you, he had that place on his feet. Oh. But more than that, didn't he just come off a plane after having traveled halfway around the world? Something like 40 hours in the air and less than 40 hours on the ground, and he comes right, as I said in, in my remarks, he walked away and walked right over to CPAC. Yeah, he was, did. Which was just awesome. And, and you should have felt great. I mean, you oh, yeah. run CPAC. You, right. You're in charge of it. You had how many speakers there this year? About 200 speakers. We had half the cabinet, a bunch of West Wing senior staffers for the president. We obviously had the president and the vice president. You had a lot of good speakers there this year. A lot year. of great speakers. We had but, Van Jones, which was interesting. A lot well, of I want to talk to you about Van Jones. Yeah. But I, I do want to talk about the president first. Look, the president gets off the plane. He delivers what uh, many of us believe to be the longest speech he has ever delivered since he's been the president. And he, he's full of energy. And there is nothing that he didn't cover in that speech. He covered everything. Did he say to you, look, man, I'm a little tired. I might not well, be able he, he to do this. He talked ahead of time, and he had this funny thing where he said, hey, have you ever had someone say that they're actually not going to keep their commitment? I was like, oh, yeah, I sure have. He goes, don't worry, I'm going to be there. But, you know, it's been a real busy trip, and let's see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to really be energetic, and he was pretty energetic. And then when he got done, Judge, he was ready to keep going. 
I bet he could have gone another hour. He definitely could have. He feeds off the energy of those college kids. Yeah. You can see he just loves every minute of it. Well, he always feeds off the energy of his audiences, and that's why I think he should get out of the White House and just that's go right. out there and talk to the people right. of this country, whether they're college or whether they're senior citizens. He is of the people.